Hey Brave Nation, um, thank you for joining us today on Facebook Live for a special athletic department announcement. First of all, I'd like to start off by um, congratulating Coach K on his coaching retirement after 18 years and after leaving behind a fantastic legacy. And so at this time, I'd like to invite Coach K up just to say a few words. Well, if uh, most of you know, um, I probably won't say a few words, I'll probably say a lot. Um, I know it's been con considered quite a cliche, but uh, I first need to uh, thank the Lord for all the blessings that He's given me and my family throughout my coaching career. Um, I'd be remiss if I didn't also thank uh, the best coaching wife that a person could have, my wife Amy. Um, thank you, Amy. My family's been a big part of what it means to be a coach. Um, from my weekly conversations with my father, um, to the hugs that I get after the game from my mom, um, from my kids being able to, to be a part of our program from when they were growing up on the sidelines to uh, my daughter doing things for us um, you know, every week and my son actually you know, even playing for us now. Um, I couldn't have done it um, without them. But we've had people travel over my coaching career to the heat of August, to the snows of uh, South Dakota and Minnesota, um, and it's been it's been great to be able to to share uh, my family with the uh, Brave Nation and and the hundreds of, of guys that I've had a chance to uh, work with and call my kids over the years. Um, your support has made it extremely fulfilling to be able to be in this position where I'm at right now. Uh, when I first started college, I kind of fooled myself and thought I was going to be a doctor, you know, a physician or a physical therapist. But I uh, had an opportunity to, uh, to coach a, uh, a summer camp in 1988. And I knew that then, at that point, that I was really uh, caught by the bug of coaching. And I knew I was going to go into the family profession, into the family business. And you know, I would tell you that there was a lot of things that were involved in that first initial decision, but I didn't know it was going to be and expand into what it has today. Um, it's way more than just calling plays or, you know, dreaming up these gimmick uh, exotics, is like we like to call them here, or even in big games. Football has become much more of a calling for me um, than anything. And I've, uh, I've had a chance to talk to our players over the the last couple of days and then also over the last couple of years and I talked about you know taking a look at uh, and reflecting back on things. Um, uh, I mentioned yesterday what it means to have spiritual mile markers and there was a, a young uh, a player of mine back in 2000 before I got here that kind of did a chapel talk on it and said that you can see things a lot more clearly as when you look in the rearview mirror than you can when you see when you're going forward. And I believe that I've had an a awesome experience um, to be able to look back onto and just see where I've been directed. You know, from the, the first opportunity that I had to get into coaching, um, I called Augustana College um, and uh, Danny Moeller uh, answered the phone and, and I asked if they had any positions open and I didn't know that they did or not and they just happened to be looking for an offensive line guy. Um, and uh, two days later, I'm on an interview and I'm being hired as the offensive line coach. Two years later, I'm the offensive coordinator, and I would have never expected that to happen, um, which then kind of led me to here. I, uh, I, uh, I got a phone call from my dad in, in January saying that the Ottawa University job was still open, and I couldn't believe it. You know, it was still open at that time. And, and so I called down to Andy Carrier and, and uh, talked to him a little bit and tried to remind him that I wasn't the 10 year old that was bugging him when he was playing basketball at Bethany, um, that I'd grown up a little bit and I would in was interested to see what the position entailed. And he brought me down and, and took a chance on me. And um, I was just a young 34 year old that really didn't know anything about being a head football coach. Matter of fact, I, once I was hired, I spent the first two hours cleaning out the refrigerator because I didn't know exactly what I was supposed to do. Um, but that has turned into, turned into a lifelong pursuit and, and something that, uh, that has, really, has really been special to me. Um, you know, I, uh, I have this, uh, this article, and I've mentioned it before, and I even brought it with me. Um, uh, David Boyce in the Kansas City Star, he had a, had a title to when I got hired here, and it said, Ottawa Seeks Stability with Coach. Um, it had been kind of a revolving door for about four or five years 
um, prior to that I got here. And, and uh, I made a commitment to the guys that were out in the interview and the guys that I recruited in that first class that I would see them graduate. And I didn't know I would be tested on that commitment. Um, few people know this, but a couple of years after I was here, I actually got a phone call to uh, join a staff that I had been pining for and before I got here. I mean, I really wanted to be on it. And I, and I decided at that time that, that I needed to follow through on my commitment. And I was going to be loyal. And, and we ended up going 1-9 and nine that year, um, which was, made me doubt that I made the right decision. But, um, but that was the class that, that was a freshman class in 2006 that turned out to be the 11-1 and one senior class that won a com our first conference championship for me here, um, that went to the, to the playoffs, won Ottawa University's um, first and you know, right now only playoff game, which hopefully is that, uh, that record gets uh, taken care of um, when we talk about the transition. But it was really, it was really a thing to me that, that I knew that at that point that I was being directed. And that year, that championship ring, I, I put on the inside of my ring uh, Jeremiah 29 11, which says that I know the plans for you for your prosper and not for you know your downfalls and it really made uh, an impact on me that that I was in the right place and I was supposed to be here and that it was part of my calling and that's where I think I am now after 18 years of being the head football coach I've had an opportunity to to uh, to be uh, a leader and a mentor and um, hopefully a father figure to hundreds of, of young men. Um, I count coaching as the success, not so much in the wins and the losses. I am glad that we've had more wins than losses in my tenure. Um, but I think uh, I learned from a wise old sage that, uh, that it's the influences that you have and the men that you help along the way that makes the difference. And I think that now that I'm even in going into a different role, um, I still think that it's an opportunity, a calling for me to continue the influences I have as a professor in the classroom, hopefully preparing young men and women um, for success in their careers um, as they go forward and, and promote our university at Ottawa University. So I don't look at this as being an end. I've gotten, um, I've been overwhelmed with um, text messages and emails and and that sort of thing. Um, I don't look at this as being an end, but a new beginning, not only for me as an individual, but also to be able to pass this along to what I consider being the next caretaker of this football program. Uh, we've been doing this for 130 seasons since, since the 1890s. It's been a part of, of this program, and I have, I have been honored and blessed to be able to be just a caretaker um, for this. Um, 18 years is, is, a, is sometimes people would think of being a long time, but it's a short period of time um, that I had an opportunity to be the caretaker for it. But I appreciate um, all the well wishes and everything. I am excited about uh, what the new, uh, the new path is going to be for me and my family. Um, and, uh, you know, we're still black and gold all over. So um, that's, that's it for me other than go Braves. Thanks, Coach K. Um, again, I know a lot of people are calling in, writing in, putting things out there on social. Just a tribute definitely to Coach K's legacy. And he's bled black and gold here for 18 years. And we're so glad that we're going to keep him here on our campus. Um, he talked about that caretaker component. And so as we were looking at kind of nearing the end of, of Coach K's coaching days here, there's been a lot of intentionality in terms of building the staff that we have here and in place right now. And so with that, I'm going to introduce um, our, our, our new head coach. Um, our new head coach uh, is a graduate of Monmouth. Um, he graduated there in 2010. He came back and was a graduate assistant here for us um, from 2010 to 2012. Did a fantastic job, extremely hard worker. Has been away at multiple institutions, including um, Rose Holman, um, where he is a defensive coordinator for seven years and also an assistant head coach. Um, he brings with him just incredible energy, um, a vision for the program. Um, I would call him innovative. Um, I think you'll see that immediately when you get to know him and hear from him. 
He comes with a, a plan and a vision for the future of this program. Um, he's been well prepared and mentored by Coach K, so our alums should feel like they're in very good hands here as we make this announcement. Um, he's active out there um, nationwide in terms of multiple social media platforms and is a true teacher of the game. And so um, we know that he is uh, definitely ready to lead this program into its next chapter. And with that, I'd like to introduce our next head football coach, Coach Nick Davis. Thank you. Uh, first of all, I'd like to thank the administration, um, Araby Connor, uh, Dr. Reg, uh, President Bill. They, uh, they're good people, and it was a great process. Get to know them a little bit better, and uh, we're excited. Uh, I want to thank my wife. <laughs> Positivity um, is key, and uh, we've been on this journey here for five years, so we're excited to get started here. Um, I also want to thank Coach Kessinger. He gave me my first opportunity as a coach. I was uh, an unpaid uh, strength and conditioning coach at the University of Michigan, eating ramen noodles and, and Pop-Tarts. And uh, he gave me a call, and uh, I was sitting in a uh, bedroom in Ann Arbor, Michigan, sleeping on the floor. And uh, he called me and asked me if I'd be interested in being their graduate assistant. And I said, yes, uh, you pay money. Uh, so uh, I came here, and uh, he taught me a lot of life lessons, more than football. Uh, he's a great man. He takes care of his assistant coaches. He takes care of his team. And uh, we've got lots of messages over the last uh, two days about, you know, how lasting lifetime effects, you know, he has had on the former players. And uh, it's been remarkable. Um, I'd like to thank my family back in Illinois, my mom, um, all my aunts and uncles. They're, they're tuning in. So they're pretty excited. I'd like to thank my wife's family. Uh, they're in northern Kentucky and in Cincinnati, and they've been super supportive. Um, it has been our dream over the last few years to make this day happen, so we're pretty excited to do this together, and that's how, how this program has been built, is on family. And uh, we're excited that me and Heather can put our own spin on the Braves family and with our assistant coaches, um, so we're pretty excited about that. Um, my mother and my late father always um, taught me to be good to people, to help them out. I knew as a young coach that I wanted to help people out, and I felt like coaching and coaching at the college level was the right path for me to help people. And uh, this game's a lot more about the wins and loss. All right, it's a lot more fun winning Coach K right than, than it is to lose. Everyone understands that, but it's about the lasting effects. And, and what we've seen over the last uh, few hours is the fact that a lot of young men that may have not played a ton of snaps in their career for Coach Kessinger he meant a great deal for them. So I'm excited about the next 18 years of my career and, and what impacts we can have going forward there. Over the years, I've helped uh, countless of coaches across the country, uh, not because I wanted to do anything for my own, but because I wanted to get back to the great game of football. Um, I built a lot of meaningful relationships with players um, across, you know, at Rose, and we've started here, and in fact, a, a good story is uh, Zach Phillips, one of my former players, is actually coming to Kansas City uh, here in a few weeks, and, and we're going to go out and uh, have dinner, which I'm excited about. When your players get excited about your opportunities as what you and your family and, your, you know, your friends do, it shows that you're doing something right. Um, as for my vision of Ottawa University, we're the third winningest football program in the history of the NAIA. With our great staff we are building, and the coaches, we, the alumni, the coaches, our current players, the future players, the former coaches, we want to bring Ottawa back to a national power that Coach K established once he got here, all right, and in earlier years with uh, Dick Peters. So going forward, we want to create a, an atmosphere of positivity. We want this to be a great family experience, just like Coach K has built all these years. In fact, we've had a few meetings with our players over the last few days um, and, and today. And the number one thing those guys said of why they came to Ottawa was family. And Coach Kessinger created that. And me and Heather and our staff are going to continue to develop that and take that to the next level 
Um, and, and the number one reason these kids stay, I asked them that question, is the family, is the atmosphere. So there's a lot of people on this campus that do a great job of doing that. And uh, I'll have a, a little aspect on about 120 students um, each year. Um, but we want to bring the positivity that can take over this campus and help these young men um, the rest of their lives. Thank you. Again, thanks for joining us today. Um, just a special time, obviously, 18 years, um, Coach K. So um, you and your family and the commitment and everything else we can't be more thankful for. And um, for Nick and Heather, we're, we're excited about what this uh, next phase is going to look like for, for our football program as we continue on. Um, I would uh, invite you on Tuesday at 3 o'clock. We're actually going to do a meet and greet up in Schindel Conference Room here on campus. So if you're around in the area and want to come up and stop and meet Coach Davis or say hey to Coach Kessinger and congratulate him on his retirement, we'd love to have you here on campus. So hope you can make it next Tuesday, 3 o'clock up in Schindel. And the other thing I'd mention to our alums out there is we're looking for uh, an event in April, and I think we're looking at April 9th potentially. Don't put it quite on your calendar yet. We're finalizing some details, but um, looking at making that a football family day of some sort, and part of that will be celebrating Coach K and his legacy and hopefully have a lot of alums back here on campus on that day. So more information to come uh, for our spring game and kind of what's in store. And again, thanks for joining us today. I look forward to seeing you here on campus. Take care.